We've talked about Chesed, and we've talked about Gevora, we've talked about Tiferet, we've talked about the path that connects Chesed and Gevora, where I put the Lust card. So let's look at the next path of this middle triangle, the path that connects Tiferet and Chesed. So what happens when you draw the Hermit? So you know that the Hermit is about introspection, about maybe spending some time on your own, it's about your divine spark, maybe finding that divine spark, maybe being given a divine spark. But what else can we find out about this card by looking at the Tree of Life? The first thing that I notice is that the Hermit is associated with the Hebrew letter Yod. Now, the letter Yod is the first letter in the four-letter name for God, yod He vau He. And those four letters are called the Tetragrammaton. They are each associated with one of the Sephiroth on the Tree of Life. Yod is associated with Chokma. He is associated with Bina. Vav is associated with Tiferet. And He final is associated with Malkut. So you can tell by that, if you remember where the court cards go, that the court cards are also each associated with one of the letters, and that means that the letters and the court cards are all together associated with the elements and the four worlds. So there's a lot of information in each one. And you'll, you'll notice that Yod is associated with Chokmah and the Knights, and it's associated with the element of fire, because with the four worlds, the elements go in order of fire, water, air, and earth. So we start with fire. So Yod is fire. And if you think about that, it makes sense because it looks like, the letter Yod looks like a little flame. And if you look at two other cards in the Thoth Tarot, you can see that there are flames. And the really fun thing about this, the other two cards, is that they're the same suit. They're wands, which makes them fire. The Ace of Wands, the wand is covered with Yods as flames. And the Princess of Wands is rising up from Malkut, going up the Tree of Life in one big flame, one big letter Yod. And these, of course, uh, remind us of the idea that Keter and Malkut are connected. Each one has the seed of the other within it. So Keter has the seed of Malkut in it, and Malkut has the seed of Keter in it. So, and that's a, that's a very comforting thought because it means that us down here on the earth, there is still that that lovely seed of divinity, that little flash of Yod down here. And when you look at the placement of the Hermit on the Tree of Life, you see that he, even though he's associated with the letter Yod, which is the first letter of the Tetragrammaton, he's connected to Tiferet, which is associated with Vav. And what that made me think was that the Hierophant, here he is, Hierophant is and the Hierophant is a card that I have always associated with the Hermit. I haven't really thought about it. I've always kind of discouraged myself from doing it because thinking, no, they're, they're different cards. But they are connected because this card is associated with Vav, the letter Vav. And the path is connected to Chokma, the letter Yod. So this is Vav connected to Yod, and this is Yod connected to Vav. So what do you think that means? You know, what kind of information does it give us if we're thinking about the Hermit? We think, well, there's definitely a relationship here with the Hierophant. And Yod is fire, Vav is air. We know that fire and air get along very well together. But what else does that tell us about these two cards? So that's something interesting to think about. The other thing that you can do with the Tree of Life is look at patterns and look at parallels, parallel paths. And if you look at, so in other words, the paths that are going in the same direction, they look like they're just reflected, you know, upper and lower kind of arrangements. And if you look at the Hermit, you look up to the left, you see the path of the Magus. And these two, I would say, parallel each other. Now, in this card with the Hermit, you see him, there's a lot of imagery here from the myth of Demeter and Persephone and Hades. There's the wheat and there's Cerberus. So maybe there is a little connection here because we know that in the story of Persephone, when she spends six months in Hades 
and she, then she spent six months on earth with her mother Demeter. The person, well the god who comes to get her and take her back each time is Mercury. So is this a Mercury figure? Is the hermit a Mercury figure? And that's something that, you know, I think is very interesting to think about. Um, what magician aspects, maybe there are magician aspects, maybe there are, you know, what kind of knowledge are we talking about here? So I hope that was interesting. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.